going now? Mandayam Shri Guru Shri Atha Parakamalam Shri Guru Vaishnavam Sya Shri Rupam Sagrajatam Sagana Raghunatam Bitam Tam Sajivam Sadvaitam Sabadutam Parijana Saitam Krishna Chaitanya Devam Shri Rana Krishna Padan Sahagana Lalita Shri Vishikam Bitam Sya Om Ajnana Timaranda Shagyana Jana Shilakya Shakshuran Militam Yena Tasmai Shri Gurave Nama Gurva Bhistam Sapurakam Gurganara Sisha Sambhushitam Chintya Chintya Samasta Veda Nipunam Shri Rupa Patanugam Govina Vidam Ujvalam Bharatanum Bhaktyan Vidam Sundaram Mande Vishwagurun Shah Divyad Bhagavat Prem Nawi Bijap Ranam Devam Divya Tanum Suchanda Bananam Balarka Shailanchitam Sandrananda Puram Sadeka Varanam Bhairagya Vidyam Bodhim Sri Siddhanta Nidhim Subhakti Lasitam Saraswatanam Bharam Mandetam Shubaram Mareka Sharanam Nyashisvara Sridharam Banshikalpatarub Yasyankripa Sindhu Bhyevacha Patitanam Bhavanibhyo Vaishnava Bhyo Namonama Namo Mahabharanyaya Krishna Prema Pradayate Krishnaya Krishna Chaitanya Namane Gorata Vishenama So we're hearing from Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita by Srila Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami Translation and Commentary by Srila Prabhupada This is Madhya Leela Chapter 22 The Process of Devotional Service which is Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu explaining to Sanatana Goswami the process of Abhideya. Uh, first comes Sambandha, relationship with the Lord, Shiva Swarupa Vai Krishna Nityadas, everyone's the eternal servant of Krishna. Then comes Abhideya, the process of devotional service or Bhakti Yoga, the means, the, the way of s satisfying that relationship with the Lord. And then comes Prayojana, the third of the three, which is the goal, which is Krishna Prema's love of Godhead. Satam prasanga mama virya samvido bhavanti krit karna rasayana kata tadyoshanan ashvapa varga vartmani shraddha ratir bhaktir anugramishyati. So we're on text 86. The spiritually powerful message of Godhead can be properly discussed only in a society of devotees. And it is greatly pleasing to hear in that association. If one hears from devotees, the way of transcendental experience quickly opens, and gradually one attains firm faith that in due course develops into attraction and devotion. So we always say Shravanam Kirtanam, Vishnu Smaram, the process begins with hearing. The spiritually powerful message of God can be properly discussed only in a society of devotees and is greatly pleasing to hear in that association. If one hears from devotees, the way of transcendental experience quickly opens and gradually one attains firm faith that in due course develops into attraction and devotion. Asat Sangha Tyaga E Vaishnava Char Stri Sangi Stri Sangi Ek Asadu Krishna Bhakta Ar A Vaishnava should always avoid the association of ordinary people. Or here it mentions uh, those persons Oh, yeah, satsanga, rejection of the association of non-devotees. A Vaishnava should always avoid the association of ordinary people or non-devotees. Common people are very much materially attached, especially to women. Vaishnavas should also avoid the company of those who are not devotees of Lord Krishna. So, devotees are not interested in the, the uh, association of non-devotees because essentially the whole material world, the predominating uh, uh, 
uh, drive of the material world is sexual, and the devotees are not interested in uh, hearing that kind of what is called by Mahaprabhu when he speaks with Raghunath Das Goswami. It's called Gramya Kata. Talks about uh, the relations between men and women. Satyam Sojam Dayamonam Budir Ari Shri Yashakama Samodamo Bhagascheti Yat Sangad Yati Sankshayam Teshvasan Teshu Mudeshu Kanditat Mas Vaso Vasad Dushu Sangamna Koryats Chodshyesu Yoshi Kridam Rigeshu Cha Natatasya Baba Moho Bandas Chanya Prasangata Yoshi Sangad Yata Pumso Yata Tat Sangi Sangata By association with worldly people, one becomes devoid of truthfulness, cleanliness, mercy, gravity spiritual intelligence, shyness, austerity, fame, forgiveness, control of the mind, control of the senses, fortune and all and all opportunities. One should not at any time associate with a coarse, coarse fool who is bereft of the knowledge of self-realization and who is no more than a toy animal in the hands of a woman. The illusion and bondage that accrue to a man from attachment to any other object are not as complete as that resulting from association with a woman or with men too much attached to women. This ver <coughs> these verses quoted from Srimad Bhagavatam were spoken by Kapila Dev, an incarnation of the Lord, to his mother. Hearing Kapila Dev discusses pious and impious activities and the symptoms of those who are devoid of devotional service to Krishna. Generally, people do not know about the miserable conditions within the womb of a mother in any species of life. Due to bad association, one gradually falls into lower species. Association with women is greatly stressed in this regard. When one becomes attached to women or to those who are attached to women, one falls down into the lower species. Purusha prakriti stohi, bhunte prakriti jan gunan, karanam guna sangosha sadasad yoni janmasu. The living entity and material nature thus follows the ways of life and join the three modes of nature. This is due to uh, his association with that material nature. Thus he meets with good and evil among various species. According to Vedic civilization, one's association with women should be very much restricted. In spiritual life, there are four ashrams, brahmacharya, grihastha, vanaprastha, and sannyas. The brahmacharya, vanaprastha, and sannyasi are completely forbidden to associate with women. Only, only grihastas are allowed to associate with women under certain very much restricted conditions, that is, one associates with women to propagate ni nice children. Other reasons for association are condemned. So sometimes people have a false view of the devotees that they are sexist, that they are against women. And, and sometimes people with, uh, with an immature understanding of Krishna consciousness even practicing devotees, they will not understand what is meant when it talks, when the scriptures talk about restricting association with women. Because obviously, we see Krishna conscious husband and wife who are able to work very nicely together, engaged in devotional service, and they live together under these conditions as griastas. Then, those con that is considered an ideal example, and actually, when uh, Mahaprabhu, he chose to spread his mission through persons like Rup, Sanatan, Haridas, Thakur, uh, and others, uh, they, of course, were not uh, any longer in the Grihast Ashram, but they were considered outside the higher echelons of the Vedic society. They were 
you know, Haridas Thakur, born in a Muslim family, Rup Sanatan, and accepted materialistic employment with the Muslims, and they were not considered part of uh, society. And Mahaprabhu also spread his mission through many exalted persons like Srivas Thakur and uh, Advaita Acharya, who were married. <coughs> so, Nityananda also became married when he went to Bengal. So they showed that example and showed us that, that w they were leaders in spreading Krishna consciousness. So, and, and we also see there are exalted ladies who also like uh, uh, Janava and also uh, other persons who are considered uh, as, as gurus even. Now the I idea is that um, the, what is condemned when it says association with women, this is, re re this is in relationship to the association uh, of men and women on the basis of sexual attraction. And exploitation. And exploitation, of course. So that is, that is condemned <coughs> because that will lead one to straying from the path of devotional service if one follows the impulses of the, of the body and mind in that respect and becomes controlled by them. And th therefore I, I can say that Srila, Srila Sridhar Mar said one time he, uh, in, when he was younger he expressed uh, something that his aunt took to be negative towards women and she said have you not heard that uh, she talked to him and said actually women are meant to be protected they're not meant to be de de uh, not appreciated or deprecated so uh, this was this is our this is our understanding of what it's meaning when it says that um, not having unrestricted association with women. And then and also here in this verse it mentions of course brahmacharya, sannyas, and even vanaprastha where the association is basically non-existent because there are orders of life where the person is living in the absence of family, not just ladies but in the absence of family because that person is uh, in all considerations, uh, a monk, a monk dedicated to the propagation of the mission. So, in this sense, Mahaprabhu is speaking and citing this verse from Srimad Bhagavatam. Then we we'll continue. Varam huta vaham jwala panjan panjarantam vyavastiti nashori jhinta vimuka jana samvasu vaishava varam huta so I also say in this respect Srila Govinda Maharaj he said that in his horoscope he had daughters but no, no sons and then he said this also indicates that women would have a prominent role in his mission as being leaders and we do see there are many places where the ladies are the leaders of the temples in Mexico and America, Brazil. Brazil, so many places. Okay, Varam Huta Vahanjwala Panjaranta Vyavastiti Nashori Chintavimuka Jana Sambhasa Vaishasam. It is better to accept the miseries of being encaged within bars and surrounded by burning flames than to associate with those bereft of Krishna consciousness. Such association is a very great hardship. Madrakshi shina punyam kvachirapi bhagavad bhakti hinan manushan one should not even see those who are bereft of devotional service 
in Krishna consciousness and who are therefore devoid of pious activities. Itasabchari ara varnashrama dharma akinshana hoyaloi krishnaika sharana. Without hesitation, one should take exclusive shelter of Lord Krishna with it, with full confidence, giving up bad association and even even neglecting the regulative principles of the four varnas and four ashramas. That is to say, one should abandon all material attachment. Sarvadharman paritjajam hamikam sharanam braja ham tvam sarva papebhyo mokshayashyami mashuta mashucha after giving up all kinds of religious and occupational duties, if you come to me, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, and take shelter, I shall give you protection from all of life's re reactions. Do not worry. Bhaktavatsala, Kritagya, Samarta, Badanya, Hena Krishna, Chari, Pindita, Nahib, Bhajayanya, Lord Krishna is very kind to his devotees. He is always very grateful and magnanimous, and he possesses all abilities. A learned man does not give up Krishna to worship anyone else. Kapandita stvad aparam sharanam samiyad bhakta priyad ritagira surida kritagyad Sarvandadati surido bhajato bikaman atmanamapi upachaya panjayo nayasya. My dear Lord, you are always very, you, my dear Lord, you are very affectionate to your do, devotees. You are also a truthful and grateful friend. Where is that learned man who would give give you up and surrender to someone else. You fulfill all the desires of your devotees, so much so that sometimes you even give yourself to them. Still you neither increase nor decrease by such activity. Vigya jhanar hoi jadi krishna guna gyan anyatya je bhajetate udava praman Whenever an experienced person develops real knowledge of Krishna and his qualities, he naturally gives up all other engagements and renders service to the Lord. Uddhava gives evidence concerning this. Aho bhakiyam stanakala kutam Jigam shaya payayad api asadvi levi gatim datri uchitam datonyam kambadayalum sharanam brajema. Oh, how wonderful it is. Putana, the sister of Bakasura, wanted to kill Krishna by smearing deadly poison on her breast and having Krishna take it. Nonetheless, Lord Krishna accepted her as his mother, and thus she attained the destination befitting Krishna's mother. Of whom should I take shelter but Krishna, who is most merciful? And here, uh, Putana is called by the name of Bucky, affectionate term of meaning the sister of Bakasura, the little sister of Bakasura. Bucky and Bakasura. Oh, how wonderful it is. Putana, the sister of Bakasura, wanted to kill Krishna by smearing deadly poison on her, on her breast and having Krishna take it. Nonetheless, Lord Krishna accepted her as his mother and thus she attained the destination befitting Krishna's mother, of whom should I take shelter? But Krishna, who is most merciful. So Krishna sucked on her breast, but he obviously, poison has no effect, but he, he sucked out her life. 
life heir. And in, the, in so doing, she was given a position in the group of Vatsalya, Vatsalya Ross, those devotees having a parental relationship with the Lord. In other words, he, he accepted the action, even though she's trying to kill him, he accepted the action of her behaving like a wet nurse, he put her in the Vatsalya category. Sharanagater uh, akinshanena, Sharanam gate, Sharanagater akinshanera, Eke ilakan taramaje praveshaye atma samarpan. There are two kinds of devotees those who are fully satiated and free from all material desires and those who are fully surrendered to the lotus feet of the Lord. Their qualities are one and the same, but th those who are fully surrendered to Krishna's lotus feet are qualified with another transcendental quality, atma samarpan, full surrender without reservation. Hmm. There are two kinds of devotees, those who are fully satiated and free from all material desires, satiated and fully satisfied and free from all material desires, and those who are fully surrendered to the lotus feet of the Lord. Their qualities are one and the same, but those who are fully surrendered to Krishna's lotus feet are qualified with another transcendental quality, atma samarpan, full surrender without reservation. Anu ku yasya sankalpa pratiku yasya varjanam rakshish yatiti vishvaso gopritve varanam dhata atma nikshepa sharpanye shadvira sharanagati. The six divisions of surrender are the acceptance of those things favorable to devotional service the rejection of unfavorable things, the conviction that Krishna will give protection, the acceptance of the Lord as one's guardian or master, full surrender, and humility. So this goes along with where uh, uh, Srila Govinda Maharaj was always preaching, Trinata Pisuni Chena, Tarori Vasahishnuna, Amanina Manadena, Kirtaniya Sadahari. That humility, offering respects to others without asking for um, respect in return, and tolerance. If one develops these qualities, one can always chant the holy name of the Lord. So here, what's being described is the six limbs of Shanaranagati, of surrender, and um, Rakshishyati, Rakshishyati Ti Vishvaso Gopret Varanam Dada Atma Nikshepa Karpanye Shadvida Sharanagati. Oh, pardon me. Anuku Yasya Sangalpa Pratiku Yasya Varjanam Rakshishyati Ti Vishvaso Varanam Dada Atma Nikshepa Karpanye Shadvida Sharanagati. The six divisions of surrender are the acceptance of those things favorable to devotional service, the rejection of unfavorable things, the conviction that Lord Krishna will give protection, the acceptance of the Lord as one's guardian or master, full self-surrender and humility. Tavas miti vad Vadan Vacha Tataiva Manasavidan Tatstanam Ashritas Tanva Morate Shadanagata One whose body is full, one whose body is fully surrendered, takes shelter at the holy place where Krishna had his pastimes and prays to the Lord, My Lord, I am yours. Understanding this, with his mind, he enjoys spiritual bliss. 
understanding this with his mind, he enjoys spiritual bliss. One whose body is fully surrendered takes shelter of the holy place where Krishna is pat. One whose body is fully surrendered takes shelter at the holy place where Krishna had his pastimes. And he prays to the Lord, my Lord, I am yours. Understanding this with his mind, he enjoys spiritual bliss. Sharana loya kore krishna atma samarpan krishna tare kore tatkale atma sam when a devotee thus fully surrenders unto when a devotee thus fully surrenders unto krishna's lotus feet krishna accepts him as one of his confidential associates marjo yada chakta samasta karma Nivedi tatma vichi chik vichi kir shito me saram ritatvam prati pajyamano mayatma vai yaya chakopate vai. The living entity who is subjected to birth and death attains immortality when he gives up all material activities, dedicates his life to the execution of my order, and thus, according to my directions, pardon me, the living entity who is subjected to birth and death attains immortality when he gives up all material activities, dedicates his life to the execution of my order, and acts according to my directions. In this way, he becomes fit to enjoy the spiritual bliss derived from exchanging loving mellows and rasas with the Lord. Ebe sarana bhakti lakshana shuna sanatan jahoi te pai krishna prema Mahadan, my dear Sanatan, please now hear about the regulative principles for the execution of devotional service. By this process, one can attain the highest perfection of love of Godhead, which is the most desirable treasure. Kriti Sadhya Bhavit Sadhya Bhavasa Saranabhida Nitya Sarasya Bhavasha Prakatyam Riddhi Sadyata. When transcendental devotional service by which love for Krishna is attained is executed by the senses, it is called sadhana bhakti, or a regulative discharge of devotional service. Such devotion eternally exists within the heart of every living entity. The awakening of that Eternal devotion is the potentiality of devotional service and practice. When transcendental devotional service, by which love for Krishna is attained, is executed by the senses, it is called sadhana bhakti, or the regulative discharge of devotional service. Such devotion eternally exists within the heart of every living entity. The awakening of this eternal devotion is the potentiality of devotional service in practice. Shravanadi Kriya Tara Swarup Brahman. Pardon me. Shravanadi Kriya Tara Swarup Lakan Tatasta Lakshane Upajaya Premadan. The spiritual activities of hearing, chanting, remembering, and so forth are the natural characteristics of devotional service. The marginal characteristic is that it awakens pure love for Krishna. The spiritual activities of hearing, chanting, and remembering, and so and so forth, are the mar marginal characteristics of devotional service. The marginal characteristic is that it awakens pure love for Krishna. What? Natural characteristic. Okay. 
The spiritual activities of hearing, chanting, remembering, and so forth are the natural characteristics of devotional service. The marginal characteristic is that it awakens pure love for Krishna. Nitya Siddha Krishna Prema Sadya Kabunoi Shravanadi Shuddha Chitte Koraye Udoi. Pure love for Krishna is eternally established in the hearts of the living entities. It is not something that it is not something to be gained from another source. When the heart is purified by hearing and chanting, this love naturally awakens. Eta sarana bhakti duita prakar ek bhaidi bhakti raganuga bhakti ar. There are two processes of practical devotional service. One is regulative devotional service and the other is spontaneous devotional service. Ragahin Janabhaje Shastrera Agyaya Bhairi Bhakti Bolitare Sarva Shastrigai those who have not attained to the platform of spontaneous attachment in devotional service, which is rag, rag bhakti, those who have not attained the platform of spontaneous attachment in devotional service, render devotional service made, render devotional service under the guidance of a bona fide spiritual master according to the regulative principles mentioned in the revealed scriptures. According to the revealed scriptures, this kind of devotional service is called Vaidhi Bhakti, or devotional service under with rules and regulations is Vaidhi Bhakti. Tasman Bharata Sarvatma Bhagavan Hare Ishvara Shrotavyad Kirtita Vasya Smarat Avyas Shayat Bayam Tasman Bharata Sarvatma Bhagavan Hare Ishvara Shrotavya Kirtita Vyascha Smartavyas Chechayatamba Smartavyas Chechata Bayam Tasmat Bharata Sarvatma Bhagavan Hare Rishvara Shotavya Kirtita Vyascha Smartavyas Chechata Bayam O descendants of Bharata, O Maharaj Pariksit, O descendant of Bharata, O Maharaj Pariksit, the Supreme Lord who is situated in everyone's heart as Paramatma, who is the Supreme Controller and who always removes the miseries of the living entities must always be heard about from reliable sources and he must be glorified and remembered by one who wishes to become fearless. Mukha Bahuru Padebhya Purushasyat Yasha Pardon me, Mukha Bahuru Padebya Purushasya Shramai Saha Chatvaro Jagire Varna Gunar Vipradaya Pritak. From the mouth of Brahma, the Brahminic order has come into existence. Similarly, from his legs, uh, Pardon me. From the mouth of Brahma, the Brahminical order has come into existence. Similarly, from his arms, the Chatriyas have come. From his waist, the Vaishyas have come. And from his legs, the Shudras have come. Therefore, four orders and their spiritual counterparts, Brahma, Brahmacharya, Grihastha, Vanaprastha, and Sanyas, continue to make human society complete. Ya Eshad Purusha Sakshad Atma Pravavam Ishvaram Na Bhagavati Avagya Janati Ya Esha Purusha Stita Yesham Purusha Sakshad Atma Pravavam Ishvaram Na Bhajanti Apajananti 
stanad brashtu prashta pantanj yad yadu from if one simply maintains an official position in the four varnas and ashramas but does not worship the supreme lord vishnu when comes down from his puffed up position and comes down from his puffed up position into a hellish condition one simply attains an official position in the four varnas and ashramas but does not worship the supreme lord vishnu one falls down from the material and puffed up the if one simply maintains an official position in the four varnas and ashramas but does not worship the supreme lord vishnu uh, he falls down from his puffed up position into a hellish condition smartavya sadatam vishnu vishmartavyo na jatu chit sarve vidhi nisheda shur etayor eva kingara even Krishna is the origin of Lord Vishnu. He should always be remembered and never forgotten at any time. All the rules and regulations melted. Um, pardon me. Krishna is the origin of Lord Vishnu. He should always be remembered and never forgotten at any time. All the rules and, and prohibitions mentioned in the Shastras sh should be the servants of these two principles. Never always remembered and never forgotten. So it's sometimes explained that the rules that are positive are meant to uh, help you always remember Krishna, that you should do this and you should do that activity and you should do that. That's to remember Krishna. And when the negative injunctions are there, you shouldn't do this, you shouldn't do that, you shouldn't do this, that is to help, help you to not forget Krishna. Because positive activities are positive because they're in relationship with Krishna. And the negative activities or negative thoughts, they are um, the... That's just from probably some advertisement. All right, so anyway, we're going to end here. As I, I was saying, the positive injunctions of what you should do that is to help you remember Krishna and the negative injunctions telling you that you shouldn't do this, you shouldn't turn your back on the deities, etc. Those are to keep you from forgetting Krishna. So positive for remembering Krishna and negative to help you not forget Krishna. And it says here, as it says in the purport here, it says, um, Krishna is the origin of Lord Vishnu. We should always be remembered and never forgotten at any time. All the rules and prohibitions mentioned in the Shastras should be the servants of these two principles. Always remembered and never forgotten. So tomorrow I'm going to continue. Hari Haraya Nama Krishna Jadavaya Nama Hari Haraya Nama Krishna Yadavaya Nama Jadavaya Madavaya Keshavaya Nama Yadavaya Madavaya Keshavaya Nama Gopal Govinda Ram Shri Madhusudan Gopal Govinda Ram Shri Madhusudan Giridari Gopinath
Srila Bhakti uh, Sunda Govinda Dev Goswami Maharaj Ki Jai yeah. Jai Om Vishnu Pad Srila Bhakti Rakak Srila Dev Goswami Maharaj Ki Jai yeah. Jai Bhagavan Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami Thakur Ki Jai yeah. Jai Om Vishnu Pad Srila Gaur Ki Shordas Babaji Maharaj Ki Jai yeah. Jai Om Vishnu Pad Srila Satchi Dhananda Bhakti Vinod Thakur Ki Jai yeah. Jai Om Vishnu Pad Vaishnava Sarvabhoma Srila Jagannath Das Babaji Maharaj Ki Jai yeah. Rupanuga Guru Bhagavad Ki Jai Namachari Shri Lakhadigas Jai Shri Rupa Sanatana Bhatta Raghunath Shri Jiva Gopal Bhatta Dasha Raghunath Shad Goswami Prabhu Ki Jai Premzi Go Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadhar Shri Basadi Shri Gaurabhakta Vrinda Ki Jai Jai Shri Gaurabhakta Vrinda Ki Jai Jai Om Vishnupad Vishpabharanya Shri Lakhadigas Bhakti Vedanta Swami Maharaj Prabhupada Ki Jai Jai 
Shri Chaitanya Charitamrita Ki Jai Jai Om Vishnu Pad Shri Labhakti Nirmala Charya Maharaj Ki Jai Jai Shri Chaitanya Saraswat Mat Ki Jai Sokel Shri Chaitanya Saraswat Seva Shram Ki Jai Samaveda Bhakta Brinda Ki Jai Shri Harinam Sankirtan Ki Jai All the assembled devotees Ki Jai Gaur Premanande Hari 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 Hari